Hey, this is Anthony at the Revs. We watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new first manufacturing street cruiser leather jacket available at Revzilla.com. So we look at the Street Cruiser, new for the spring of 17. You're looking in the mid twos from first manufacturing. Again, using its naked cowhide, which has a really premium hand to it, it's gonna really carry that classic cafe or retro inspired look. Really clean lines here with the naked cowhide. The other thing to call out about the Street Cruiser is that it does have your sweatshirt material style hood, which is fully removable. So again, a little bit more of a style centric piece. Now, if you're new to first manufacturing, they've been around for 30 years. They have the tannery, they have the manufacturing, they supply a lot of other brands that you know. This is their first foray into selling to us directly. And ultimately what you're able to do is skip a few steps in the distribution cycle and save a little bit of money. So you're looking at a jacket coming in the mid twos that actually has 1.0 millimeter grade naked cowhide. It actually feels great to the hand. It's better than you typically expect for under the $300 mark. So there's a value for dollar play there as well. Now, quick note on sizing for high-vis Brian and keep in mind, these jackets do not come with armor. No armor in the shoulder, elbow, or the back. You can buy it for $20 added on after the fact. And that's going to be CE, elbow and shoulder, as well as a back pad. Again, you'd have to upgrade that separately if you want to go CE. But back to Brian's sizing. Six foot, 195, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size medium. Stuff fits American. You can see a little bit boxier, a little bit more room to move. It's going to be a hip length on him. If he used the size chart, it would put him in an extra small. So the theme here for right now until first manufacturing really fixes their size chart is if you're on the size chart, go up two sizes and it will make sense for you. If you have any difficulty, give us a shout. We'll work it out for you via email. Contact us. We'll walk you through it. We want you to get it right. And as always, I'd love you to click our logo, subscribe to Survival on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments, requests, your feedback here on the Street Cruiser. The other thing to note about the Street Cruiser when we stay within this fit theme, notice the sleeves are a little bit longer and there's a gusset in the back. So if you're reaching for the bars or reaching for the bars, you should have plenty of room to move. Again, they built in some flexibility and they built in some range of motion into this jacket. Now, some of the other nuances here. If we open it up at the top, you're going to see I like the fact that they have a snapback here. Again, hotter times of the ride of the riding season, you can open it up. It is going to be that 1.0 mil grade cowhide. It has a little bit of a light finish to it to the hand. It's not wax, but it is that more matte finish. If we open up the chest vents, they are vents that vent to the mesh liner on the inside, so you are able to get some airflow. Now, this jacket's going to come with leather pulls on the zips. We removed them. We think it's a much cleaner look when you have your chromed out zippers, which are YKK, a premium zipper, but ultimately done without big pulls. The pulls are big enough on their own. If you're wearing a lightweight glove or a leather glove, you're going to be able to find it. Note the basic hand warmer pockets. We already talked about the sleeve length, which we really like, and there's your zipper on the bottom side. So again, that opens up. There's my 80 gram full sleeve thermal. And again, behind it, you're going to have the mesh, which is going to wick sweat away, allowing you to stay a little bit cooler. Because when we think about seasonality range here, you're really setting out for two to three season cool to cold. Again, spring and fall, rock on. Add a thermal or base layer. Even further, you could take it down to the depths of winter because it's not perforated. In the summer, it's really up to your temperature tolerance to see and decide how things are going to work. Now, turn the face that way for me. If we look, the back side of this gusset it's actually going to be perfed leather. Now, it creates, gives you a great exhaust port, but you really can't take that air conditioning away. Now it is minimal air conditioning, but just keep in mind, it does have some perforation here. You'll feel the airflow there even when it gets cold out. Grommets under the sleeve for additional breathability. And notice they, if you move down towards the hip, they did not give you adjustability there. So you really just have this gusset in the back that allows you to reach for the bars, either mid range or high, depending on how you go. Turn backwards for me there, Briz. If he turns backwards, I'll lift up the hood. Notice this jacket is going to have a circumferential zipper on the inside of the collar that is fully removable. If you do that, you have just a basic banded collar, which sits up, but again, they're giving you that sweatshirt material, which just adds a little bit of extra flavor to the jacket. And notice where the seat goes. It's really at the top of the pocket. So it's not a full drop seat on this guy. Turn back around to the front, unzip it for me. And keep in mind too, remember, you're going to want something like a force field if you're going to upgrade that back protector because first manufacturer's back protector is really just foam. It's not going to be CE rated. If we go to the inside, open up that side at the same time. You know what these are? These are gun pockets. You could have two weapons on you at all times and no one would know about it. That is up to you though. Make your own life choices. Now, past the concealed carry pockets, if we open it up on the inside, you're going to see circumferential zipper. There is my uh, 80, 80 gram thermal liner. Stop laughing, hi, Viz Brian. I didn't say nipple, I said thermal with a zipper. And then if we look at it, you do have your mesh backing right along the inside of this, again, which will wick sweat. Zip it back up, stop laughing before I stab you. Now, 
The next step in your journey is to click the info button. Your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at RevsLittle.com. Read other rider reviews of the Street Cruiser, which comes in black only from first manufacturing. Shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship free over 39 bucks. And if you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevsLittle.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember to subscribe to us at RevsLittle on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion, the latest and greatest in the motor universe. See if Hive is Brian continues or I stab him after this video. He might make it. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.